So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Snagit to make PDFs of screenshots that you're taking of your digital learning. Okay, so the the, the first thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to open up the Snagit program, and I've got mine down here on the taskbar. Uh, I could also open it over here, but if you do not see it, what you should be able to do is go to this Cortana search, and if you just type in the word Snag, you should see Snagit appear in your uh, list of installed programs and I have the option to open it here and I will click on it then this is kind of my interface to get me started and let me know what, what Snagit wants to know what, what are we doing are we taking video are we doing image or or they have a feature called one in general I know what I'm what I'm trying to do and in this case as I said we're going to be looking at how we can turn images into PDFs so I'm going to make sure that I'm selecting image here um, you can explore some of these options, um, but for now, the thing that is most helpful to me is sometimes I need to click uh, through, and so I can turn on a time delay, and it lets you choose how long uh, the countdown timer is before it takes the picture, and that is a feature that you may uh, find useful when you are capturing images of your screen. Uh, but for the purposes of this uh, tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm, I'm in Blackboard Collaborate Ultra, but it would work the same regardless. I'm going to go ahead and click the red capture button. And by default, it does some cropping for me. Now it's just giving me, it's going to take a picture of the active area of my screen. It's going to leave out my bookmarks and uh, the other kind of controls that that Chrome or any other browser have and just do the active part of your screen. And it's also going to crop out the uh, the task bar down here. Um, if you raise it up, it will include that. And so where you point these crosshairs becomes very important because that controls what kind of image you have. It also allows you to click and drag and clicking and dragging um, will give you an image just of that part of the screen. After you've done that, it takes the image that you have captured and it opens the Snagit editor. So there's an example of something that I have, like I just dragged or drug my crosshairs to, to capture that image of just that part of my screen. But if I want to go back and get the entire active area, let's see what that. So again, it just reloads and it's saying, what do you want to do? Image capture. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of the entire Blackboard Collaborate screen. And once I'm here, um, as the name implies, the editor gives me a lot of features to kind of touch up this image and, and make sure it is the way that I want. Um, the first one that I would cover is th there are little white boxes that you'll see on the corners and sides, and that allows um, cropping. So you can get the image to look um, just at the area that you were meaning to capture. Okay. And, uh, you know, you can undo all of the crops that you are making. So don't ever worry about it. And so just best practices, it is good to take a bigger image of uh, the screen than, than you think you're going to need because it is very easy to edit it down. Um, then along the top, you can um, add some different uh, text and colors to it. So for example, if there was a student name that needed to be redacted or if there was something that I that you that you wanted to hide, you could do that. So I'm going to select a box and just, um, you know, this is an excellent tool for highlighting something, but I'm going to pretend this welcome is information that I, that I don't want captured or shared. If you select a fill color, so I'm going to go ahead and select this red as my fill color. We red. There we go. We are red. So now when I drag my little box over here, you can see that that's completely obscured, and when I save it as a PDF, no one will be able to, uh, to to know what was under that box. Okay, so there are many other features that are helpful, including arrows if you're trying to direct people's attention to things. You have the ability to layer on text, so if there needs to be um, kind of a note made, you can click on on that, and you have the ability. add text and you know once you have your text if you highlight it you uh, you can change the font 
uh, the color, the size, you can bold it or italicize it. There are lots of different uh, formatting options for you. Uh, once, once you have this done, you can drag this up here. And that is the basics of how you can capture images using Snag. Now, saving it as a PDF, um, you're going to go up here to File. And I'm going to go to Save As. And it's going to say, by default, the save type as is PDF. You have many other options. If that's not the file format that you want to save it as, it's going to give you uh, date and time as the default name. And so um, you can go ahead and change that, and you're going to have some sort of naming convention to keep your information organized. I'm going to call this test one. I'm going to make sure that I save it on the desktop so that I can find it later. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And now when I go to my desktop, you'll see I have a PDF called test one. I'm going to open it up and just make sure that everything that I had was there. And boom, you can see that I have um, you know, redacted, highlighted, and, and made notation on my screenshot. And this is now a small file that's easy to uh, archive or, or share in any way that I may find helpful. So I hope this in instructive video was helpful for you. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.